You know what they used to do to guys like that when they were in a place like this? They'd be carried out on a stretcher, folks. I'm going to stomp all over your face with golf spikes because I'm going to win this for the state of Pennsylvania. You cannot be civil with a political party that wants to destroy what you stand for, what you care about. If politics these days seem especially ugly, that's because they are. Not even counting physical attacks on Senator Rand Paul, the shooting of Congressman Steve Scalise, and the punching and kicking that have become routine at demonstrations, politics are more heated and divisive than they have been in years. And for good reason. The people who control politics insist that every piece of legislation, every Supreme Court nomination, every midterm election, every minor rule change is bringing the world one step closer to the apocalypse using plastic straws, kneeling for the national anthem, decade-old tweets, there isn't anything we do anymore that doesn't immediately get sucked into angry partisan arguments. Civility won't return until more of us channel our inner libertarians and realize that not all parts of our lives need to be politicized. How do you expect people to respond when we're told each day is the beginning of the end of our way of life, that the other side is not just mistaken but pure evil? You are either complicit in the evil. You are either contributing to the wrong or you are fighting against it. And we're limited to two parties that represent fewer and fewer of us. The government is spending more, it's borrowing more, and it's controlling more and more aspects of our lives for no reason other than pure political gain. If we are fortunate enough to win back the House and or the Senate, that's when civility can start again. If civility can't return to politics unless your team is in charge, you're doing it wrong. Civility is only going to return when people stop treating politics as the only thing that matters, and we start actually shrinking the size, scope, and spending of government and give ourselves some room to breathe. That's especially true if we're stuck with just two choices who have pledged to screw the other side over. Neither Republicans nor Democrats offer a plan where you get to live however you want, which helps explain why so few of us want to be part of either party, and why civility won't return to politics until politicians stop cramming themselves into every corner of our lives.